Good morning, my lovely, adorable human souls, because you are a soul in a human body. I wanted to share this with you guys before that I jump into the new moon, and I just want to send so much love your way. No matter what you're doing, no matter where you are, magic will find you. That is a message from your spirit guides around you. And it's been very sunny today, it's been very cold. And I actually remember yesterday, I was like, well, it's actually sad that it's not going to snow anymore. And suddenly while I was filming, you guys are probably going to hear me say that also later on. It starts snowing so much. And I went out to film it after I actually recorded the new moon. And I want to share it with you guys because... This is how the planets are right now. They're shaking up things, but it's for us to enjoy the moment fully. Because it's a beautiful thing with snow, and some people hate it, but how magical is it? So I'm going to show you guys the next clip, and then I'm going to just jump into the reading. I wanted to share this with you guys because it's so magnificent with the big snow lakes just falling from the sky i thought that it was over but apparently not and this is a lot look people how beautiful is this Good morning, my lovely people, and happy new moon. We're going to talk about the new moon. We're going to tap into whatever messages wants to come true. I have a feeling it's going to be an exciting ride for you the next weeks, probably after the Mercury retrograde, so after the 21st of February. This Mercury retrograde has really been heavy on a lot of people when it comes to being in your mind. When it comes to blocks, when it comes to technology. And I have experienced that a lot. For some reason the table made like a... Like it felt like it was moving or something like that. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> it was strange. But yeah, I feel... That a path, a path is being cleared for you. Something that you have been waiting a long time for. I'm going to make sure that you guys can see the candle. I also put some of the smaller flowers that I got in a little vase. So I'll put it over here. You guys can probably not see it, but I heard someone say you can feel it. Yes. And first of all, I am going to take different kind of cards. I have this affirmation deck. I believe it is the super attractor. I am going to just take one affirmation card and then we're going to talk about what this means for you. And then we're going to take more cards after. But well, let's just see what spirit and your guides want you to know. If some of you guys are in need of a private reading, healing session or removal of blocks, all information is down below. So you have the opportunity to still be able to book readings and healing sessions with me this month and next month. But let's see what is the message or the affirmations with this new moon in Aquarius. It's a very beautiful new moon energy. When I truly surrender my desires to the universe, a mighty force of faith can set in. It's interesting because the card that came up in the post that I did on my Instagram and also on YouTube was also about faith. So I feel there is a specific reason why this comes up because you need to have faith even through that 
the path might seem slow or hard at this time. I do feel it's due to Mercury retrograde that really pushes us to the limit. It is, I will say, it's one of the heaviest. I haven't felt Mercury retrograde this heavy for a long time. Um, and it's not because it's a negative thing. Oh, no, I totally messed up the table. But it messes up technology. I'm just going to uh, clean this. It delays things. It makes people misunderstand each other. There's miscommunications. There's things being missed when it comes to speaking. So again, if you are having a discussion with someone, just, you know, may, let it rest. I heard someone say, let it rest for a while until this Mercury retrograde is over. Now that this new moon is in Aquarius, it's all about being progressive. It's all about looking into the future. It's all about, you know, looking at a bigger picture, being independent. It's a very unconventional energy. It can be a detached energy with Aquarius. It's ruled by Uranus. It's ruled by the 11th house. And the 11th house is ruled by social groups. So there might be something with social groups. It might come down to... I just saw 5, 4, 5 by the way. It might come down to misunderstandings or miscommunication in a group. It can be that you are stepping into a new group of people. Or you have a support system around you, but something with social groups. This new moon brings you the opportunity to look at this new world, the age of Aquarius. It brings you the new. It makes you manifest. And again, it's interesting with all the colors. I will link the video up here where I talked about the beautiful flowers that I have here and how much the flowers match the cards that we got. It was actually pretty mind-blowing. And I feel that's what's happening. And it's also a message that came up in the post that I did with the spring card. Jumping into colors. You are stepping into long-term thinking. You are healing because Aquarius is ruled by the stars. So you are healing. You are moving into your dreams and desires. The two cards that is very significant for this new moon in Aquarius is the star card and the fool. So you are taking the steps. You need to take the steps. You need to jump fully into it. Again, it comes full circle and it makes sense with the post that I did. This new moon is going to give you the change that you need. It's going to give you the chance to express your own deep power. You are vibrating higher and I can feel that you have been working on staying on a high vibration for a long time. And you might be unsure if you are on a high vibration, but you are. But the Mercury retrograde can obviously, you know, make you confused. It can make your surroundings confused. There's so much love coming your way. It's, you know, I have spoken about this for the longest time, but I feel that you guys can, you can feel it. It's, the, the luck is haunting you. The luck is finding its way to you. It wants to be around you. Luck is attracted to you. Let's take more cards and see what else we can get for you. But it's all very, bright. Your future is bright. And I feel that there is also a special person coming into your life. For some of you guys, it's soon. For others of you, you still have to be patient this year. Okay. Shaman. Trust in higher forces. Winter. Take care of your needs. And direction Guardian, choose your path. How beautiful is that? Oh, I like this a lot. A lot of you guys, or some of you guys, might have spirit guides who are guiding you on your path right now. It might be wolf spirit guides, it might be eagles, it might be owls, 
tigers, whatever it is for you, birds, they are guiding you. They are guiding you. And you guys know I have my spirit guide Isla, my white wolf. If I can find a video, I will link it up here where I spoke about it, where I spoke about him. And he's been, you know, coming up the past days again. It has been, uh, he has been quiet in the period where I was grieving because of the loss of my mother. But now, like I have spoken about, I'm stepping into a new energy. And I know that a lot of you guys are doing the same. And I feel like a lot of you are grieving in different ways. It might not be a loss of a person, but for some of you guys it might be. It could be the loss of an animal. It could be a job uh, identity, I heard. It could be a person that's suddenly not in there anymore. In there anymore. That's a weird way to say it. A person who's not in there anymore. Hmm. Oh my god, there is... Oh, this is crazy. So I have this, like, backdrop, you know, next to me because I've been taking pictures and it's swaying back and forth. Whoa, when I said that, oh my god. And there's no windows open. I'm going to see if I can if film it for you guys. How crazy is that? And when I said that sentence, it's such a strange sentence. Can you guys see that? It was swaying very more before. Oh my god, look at this. There's someone here. There's something about this message that I talked about. How crazy is that? With this sentence, this strange sentence that I said, I feel that for some of you guys, it's different ways because I got this feeling that maybe some of you guys release like old identity moon wanted to come in but yeah either is a identity of yourself that you're letting go of and it might be a past thing where it's for some reason hard for you because obviously you have been used to the old way you might hear moon eating in the background but it can also be like a negative you know, I hate to say negative entity, but it might be like a negative energy that left you. Something that's been attached to you. Might just be for one person. But I do feel spirit guides are something ancient. Maybe even something with shamanic people. Or, you know, a new coach or someone that you're watching on YouTube or a family member or a friend is guiding you into the new. It can be a person, it can be a spirit guide, it can be yourself, your higher self. It can be many different things. It can be your wolf. But I do want to talk a little bit more about like the Mercury retrograde and <laughs> obviously the new moon. But new, this Mercury retrograde has really messed up a lot of technology. So some of you guys might have experienced that. You might have been frustrated. There might also have been delays when it comes to um, a package or email. Something got messed up or something got, you know, you got tested. I feel like you got tested. So I do feel some of you guys might feel that there is something that's a challenge. I'm holding my <laughs> rose quartz because I have felt this energy in different ways when it comes to you know believing in the path having faith and trusting in you know yourself that's something that's coming up for a lot of us this like deep trust connecting your mind with your heart chakra can sometimes be challenging but i feel that you are mastering that very 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 well Hello? Hello? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> My crew <group> integrate. <laughs> yes. oh. All right, I am back. Sorry, guys. Amanda called. And obviously, Mercury Retrograde messed that up as well because there's something happened with the call. And I just took a short break to get some coffee. 
So now I am back and we're going to continue with the lovely reading. I cannot remember what the last thing was that we spoke about. So I'm just picking up on whatever comes in, whatever my guides are pointing out to. Uranus does have this rebellion energy over it. And I feel that now that it is in Taurus, there might be a wall that you need to break down. I did hear someone say a wall that you can break down. Which makes sense because Taurus is a very strong sign. It is a sign that can survive harsh weather, which makes sense with us being in winter time. That everything is a little bit more cold, and Aquarius can be a little bit cold, so there's a survival push. You breaking down this wall. The wall of insecurities, I heard. The wall of doubt, fear, trusting in yourself. Again, having faith. And I feel that you are looking into what you really need during this time, because obviously Taurus is all about what we really need. It's all about what we eat. It's where we are feeling comfortable, where we are living. So... I feel there's a lot of changes going on. We can also see a wheel here. And there's an eye in the wheel. So using your, using your intuition, your third eye, to really realizing what's important in your life right now. Letting go of what's blocking. During this time with this new moon, it's probably the, the coldest wherever you are. So again, stay cold. Make sure that you have plenty. I have a window in front of me and I can see that it's snowing outside again. And it's, you know, tonight it should be very, very cold again. But then it should become sunnier. Again, the days becomes longer. I feel there's a lot of signs and symbols in that. So just be aware because Uranus, like I said, can be rebellion. It can come in a disrupt thing. Things that can come in and with this Mercury retrograde that we are in, it shakes up your your life, your patterns, your day-to-day -day routine. There can be fights with people, there can be misunderstandings again with the Mercury retrograde. Or that you are not trusting yourself or that you are misunderstanding yourself. In a way. Some of you guys might even have problems with talking. Or you know. Putting words together. For some reason. The past weeks. And I know that from myself. It has been. You know. Tough. Without that there has been anything wrong. But I feel that it is Uranus. And it is. Mercury retrograde. That does go in and again disrupt something but it is for us to realize something else so if you have felt a little bit down or if you have felt like you couldn't get the words out or you know you didn't feel like your work was as usual you know don't panic it is because of the planets and you have to remember that you are going through a phase right now where your heart chakra is aligning with your mind with your crown chakra. So maybe some of you guys even have headaches, you're feeling dizzy, you, your stomach might be upset, you might feel nervous, you might have throat pain. All these things come in for you to look deeper. So you might have been feeling this energy too. Because the planets has really played mind games. It's, you know, <laughs> they are shaking us up down here. They are, yeah. Shake, to shake, obviously to shake up the illusion. To shake up the fear and the doubt and the insecurities inside of you. Break loose of that because again... The sun is about to break, spring is coming. So I do want to take some time just to send you guys a lot of healing, a lot of energy that's going to cleanse it. So I'm just going for the next minute to put some music over and then I just want you guys to cleanse off 
this energy, which makes sense with the message that we got yesterday. Just let yourself be guided by my voice. So just close your eyes and take three deep breaths. Don't hold on to anything. Don't hold on to fear. All the mind clutter, just let go of that. See it as clouds rising from your mind or black smoke. And the more thoughts and worries leave your body, the lighter you feel. You might even feel colder. Your hands might tingle or feel cold. And you will start to feel lighter. To so just take your time with letting go of all the stuck energy, all the, the feelings, the hurts. Just release. And if you get emotional, let the emotions flow. I did hear someone say, take the time to listen. So some of you guys might even receive messages. I did hear someone say, don't worry about the boxes. I see a lot of boxes being piled up. Someone feels that it's too messy, but that, like you don't have anywhere to put the boxes. This can be because of a move or there's, there's something that's, Boxing you in at home. Now that Uranus is in Taurus, there's this energy of home. Obviously, this can be symbolic for your your thoughts. Everything is going to be fine. Everything is going to work out, no matter what this means for you. You have to remember that your frequency, your vibrations are higher than it than it has ever been before. There's no doubt about that. You can't fall deeper. You are rising. You have been rising up the past weeks. But some of you guys are affected by the planets shaking up, you know, the whole entire system of the world. So it's all about just cleansing the energy. Again, removing the dust, the snow that fell on your shoulders. It's that easy. I feel a lot of you guys are cleaning out things. Also, now that I got this vision with the boxes you are cleaning walls ceilings you are detoxing you are throwing things away you are dusting off the corners you are maybe even painting or maybe even decorating in your mind you're finding out a new style that's a part of your future in a way you might not see it or understand it yet, but it's a part of your future. There's something about a color. There might be something with red, yellow or blue. But I wouldn't say hating on something old or something like, but there's something around you that you just don't like anymore. It can be the clothes that you're wearing, like you're changing your style. It can be the the color of on the wall. It can be something specific with a carpet or with, with your house, with something you want to renovate, kitchen, a, a couch, maybe even a smell for some of you. But there's something that you are, suddenly you don't really, it stresses you, I heard. So you are removing that. And some of you guys might feel confused for some reason about this change. Or you get annoyed about like, why is it that I don't like this carpet anymore? Or the color. Yeah. Like you might even have spent a lot of money on something. And now you're like, why did I spend money on that? Because I don't like it actually. It's because that you are owning up to your own energy. You're not taking on other people's energy anymore. 
you're learning what you like. You're not comparing yourself anymore. You're not stressing so much about what other people have. And obviously, if you have been in this, you know, if you have been under the doom, <laughs> is that what you call it? Um, in Denmark, we call it Osterklokke, <laughs> where, you know, where you're just sealed in and you get ideas from everyone else and suddenly someone removes the lid and you're suddenly, you know, a free thinking and you're like, hey, I actually don't like that. I want to go that way. I want to see that. I want to have that in my life. And it makes you confused because then you're suddenly, you know, very open to your own thoughts and what it is that you actually want. I have this feeling of just being free, like the owl. Just, you know, spread, spreading my wings and just, you know, sneaking off, <laughs> you know, to a new path. <laughs> Maybe that's something some of you guys have experienced. You've been out running or walking and you're like, hey, what's down that path? Um, that, again, there is this rebellion energy with Uranus where you are, you know, again, you're not doing things you, the usual way. And that can be confusing. I feel a lot of you guys have this, like, you want to yell from the top of your lungs. You want to scream at someone. You want the universe to hear you. You want the new. You want to travel. You want to cuddle. You want to feel. And I do feel that, again, choose your path. The chosen path is a path that you have already chosen. You are on that path. But obviously you need to realize that. I heard someone say, you can't hear us because of all the yelling, because of all the mind clutter, which makes sense. And with all this air being around us with Aquarius, it obviously is ruled by the mind. So there is a lot of mind clutter. There is a lot of, why am I going there? Why am is this happening to me? Why am I feeling stuck? Why can't I move? Who is stopping me? Because it's not me. <laughs> so you're realizing that, oh wait, I'm actually the one who's been stopping myself. I heard someone say the 11-11 is beautiful. <laughs> I don't know what that means. If it's something that you guys saw recently, the 11-11 is beautiful. If, or if it's just the energy of, you know, the portal being opened up. Stepping out of one portal and into a new. Stepping fully into the new, I heard. So I do feel a lot of you guys have already left your old home, in a way. Not physically, but maybe some of you. But the past, you have stepped out of that. You're stepping into the new now. And because that we are lacking the energy and the boost from the fire signs at the moment, I do feel that our creativity can lack. Or our ability to just go do things like we might feel a little bit stuck or we might just feel like taking a nap and one nap becomes three naps and you know suddenly the day is gone and you didn't do what you were supposed to do and it is because the day is not so much fire around us we need to fuel the fire from inside i heard that very clearly and i had vibration in my foot you have the fire inside of you um your your heart is bursting out your heart chakra is opening up and it's yelling at you it's giving you the the comfort of creating even through that we are in a mind space at the moment and with, you know, the conflicts around us because of the planets. But I feel that these are painting a very, you know, perfect picture. Also because I feel like with this one, it's like movement, then there is a stop, and then there is movement again. Take care of your needs, take care of what you actually need during this time. What do you need on your new travel? Travel light. Don't travel with heavy bags from the past. Don't, again, like I have explained in the past, you have to see past events as the stones that you put in your backpack and you walk around with those stones. You have to travel light now. And you have some weeks where you, you know, if not a month, 
still a month until we are in March where the fire is going to come in again and the energy is going to flow. So you have to just, again, at the moment, just trust this path that you are on. Trust that you have the, the fire and desire, okay, you have this the desire inside of you and the fire to go about and do whatever it is that you need to do. Again, have faith. Even through there is slowness and there is a lot of error. You are on the right path. This creativity is bubbling up from the surface. Some of you guys might, might already feel it, but you feel stuck because of the world situation. You have a lot of plans and ideas, but you don't feel like you can put them out or there's something missing. You have to realize that this fire is, you know, it's underneath your feet right now. It's bursting up. It's giving you opportunities. That is what it's going to do the next weeks ahead. There is a lot of anger that's coming up. Anger from the past. Deceptions. Fear. You might feel angry with yourself because you didn't do something or because that you didn't change something. Don't be angry with yourself. Just, again... Remember the fool. Just take a jump and go after it. If you have something stopped inside of you that makes you angry, I will link a video up here where I showed you guys a way how to release, you know, what you are feeling trapped in with words. So write it and burn the paper. There might also be something that you need to speak. If you are, you know, if there is family fights or if there is a fight with friends, write it out or speak about it with that person because the air needs to be cleansed. Again, Aquarius is this energy of being truthful. We are in the age of Aquarius. We're going to be here for a long time. So why not just start out being honest? If there's something that's nagging you, if you don't like something, no matter what this is, you need to talk about it because the way the longer you go around with it the heavier your backpack is going to be and the heavier your backpack is going to be the slower you get and you want to be fast when this energy kicks in in march you don't want to you know lose the opportunities you're never going to lose opportunities but this is you taking action, even so that you don't have the fire energy to back you up. There might even be some ideas that wants to burst out. Something you want to do, sing, dance, create, whatever it is. And you might be like, no, that's not, I can't do that. I'm not ready. <laughs> I heard, I saw someone laughing like, yeah, they feel like they are not ready. And they have been planning this for years. We keep telling them they are ready. Yes, you are ready. So let's see what is it that's uh, simmering. What is it that you need to do? Whoa, even the cards are flying. <laughs> How beautiful is that? <laughs> oh my God, people. We have Aquarius, I know. Then we have the sixth house routine. Yes, you know. What is it you need to do about this routine? We talked about the routine earlier. Is it about the way you eat? Is it about when you go to bed, when you get up? Is it about not taking too many naps? Again, using the fire, the creativity, even though you don't feel like it's around you. It's going to give you opportunities, a lot of opportunities the next month ahead. But you need to realize that the fire might not back you up because there's not so many fire signs around us right now. There's a lot of air and air is fast, air is sharp. That is energy you need to use without fear, without limits. And if there's someone in your life who is limiting you in a way, you have to realize and ask yourself, do I need to let that person go or do I need to let it the job go, or the fear, worry, whatever it is. There is going to be a lot of surprises. And it is surprises that's going to force you into believing and trusting in faith. Trusting your higher power, your higher self, because you are your higher self. I've spoken about that so much. Choose your path. 
because you are being guided by your angels, your spirit guides, your you know, your your animal totems, whatever you have. You are going to master something new. If it's energy work, if it's I don't know why wanted to say energy work, but maybe it's about energy work. Maybe it's about healing, mastering your challenges, mastering something, no matter what it is that you're creating. And it's going to bring you into a new routine that's actually going to fire up your path, your decisions. There might be something with comics, graphic work, games, um, role-playing, painting, but you're basically realizing a lot of things when it comes to your routine, when it comes to your work, when it comes to who you have in your routine in your life. Maybe some of you guys realize that you have done something for many years and now you're just sick of it. Again, this feeling of being sick of something. You need something new. You want something new. So you're breaking loose of an old routine, an old illusion. Let's take some tarot and see if we can get more information for you. Oh, wait. There is the star at the bottom of the deck. Again, there is something new being offered to you. But I fear that some of you guys are letting go of something that was done wrong. Something wronged you. or Someone wronged you. A job, a person. There's a lot of that happening right now. The truth is coming out and people realize the truth about other people and situations. There might also be something with overspending. That that's stopping you or someone in your life. But there is something new being offered. But let's see what else we can get. Oh yeah, we do like to see her. The Empress right in the middle. Let's see what is happening here. Whoa, well first of all, okay, we have the four of wands reversed. I'm gonna make sure you guys can see it. We have the sun, we have the justice reversed, and we have Libra. Let's see. Oh, Libra. <laughs> well, yeah, justice. Didn't I say that? We have Libra. Well, maybe some of you guys have been dealing with a Libra. But there has been adjustments, and that is something that we see a lot with what's happening around the world. But I can see that something blocked you or something scared you. Something didn't make you make make the jump, the necess the, the the jump that you need. There might be someone who didn't treat you well, but it actually forced you to step away from something or to realize your worth. There might be something with a divorce, or there has been something about a divorce in the past. I'm very good at showing these cards today. Damn. Yeah, but you have to realize that is what this energy is about that we're stepping into, that we are in, that whoever wronged you, you're seeing the true colors. You are, again, the, the, the it's the tower moment. It's the rose-colored glass is being pulled away, and suddenly we see what's actually going on, and we don't like that. <laughs> Some of us don't like what's going on or what did go on in the past. So you're making a decision for yourself and you're being rewarded with that. Which is interesting because in the beginning I did have this like, I see love, something about love. So there might be a person coming in. An emotional opportunity which can be something about a job. It can be many things for you. It's Again, it's whatever you're manifesting. We are realizing that we might have been rough to ourselves, rough to other people. We are realizing how we communicate with other people on a daily basis. <sighs> yeah. And I know because in the past I have sometimes been biting with my Scorpio signs in me. And I realize that 
maybe sometimes just listen instead of, you know, stinging right away. So some of you guys might have learned that lesson or you are learning that lesson. So there might be things coming up, bubbling up to the surface for you to realize something or someone else that you're dealing with. But someone has feared to take the steps or it's you. Something is being broken down. And again, you see it in the news, you see it on social media, you see it everywhere. Things are being bro broken down. And with that, you are actually realizing where you're going. But I feel that we should close it off with another affirmation. So let's see. As soon as I choose to see light, see the light in the dark corners. <laughs> it's so interesting because I spoke about that in the post. I redirect my power towards what I want. I mean, it can be more clear. You know what it is that you want. You're going after it. I think that is the biggest lesson and the biggest message that you can get from this new moon in Aquarius. And if you look at these two cards, and I mean, these, no matter what it is, you will get justice, you will get your justice, you will get um, offers of love and happiness. This overtrumps all the darkness, all the, the dark corners that you have been dealing with, all the anger. Yeah, keep fighting, I heard. But I feel that this is going to be it, people. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Let me know in a comment below. Remember to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Where do we go? Let's